All right, tough loss uh, on the road against a good football team. I give the Browns a lot of credit. Uh, they got good coaches, good players, um, and, and they played well. Uh, you know, first half, you know, was just, they were, I thought we, we shut down the run on defense really well. I thought we had tight coverage a lot of time. They made three or four plays um, on tight coverage that were, that were tough. They got good players. So I thought we were competitive, but they were highly efficient in the first half on offense. You know, we scored on a couple drives and then had a three and out. And, and then in the second half, you know, we came in, we came in down 10. Nobody was panicking. We really felt like we felt like we were going to play well in the second half and, and turn the thing around. And, um, you know, and then we, we spotted them some points. You know, those, those are things that we got to overcome. The, the safety, you know, that's on me. I mean, I, I got to, I can't put our team in that position. I cannot put our team in that position. So that's on me. That was, that was a big play in the game. Um, you know, special teams had the big play, the big return. That's promising. But I still got a lot of confidence in this team. This is this is one game. Uh, difficult, you know, when you work as hard as we do and you're as close as we are and you believe that you're going places like we do, you know, you come on the road and you lose this game, it hurts. So we'll just put it back together and, and get things going again next week. Stephen Holder. Hey, Frank, um, you, you mentioned the safety. Um, can you just kind of elaborate on what you mean it's on you? And then secondly, in combination with that, uh, what could you have done more to help Philip today? Obviously didn't have his best stuff. Do you feel like you could have helped him in some other ways or just what do you, what's your? Yeah, well, first of all, on the safety, um, you know, we had, we had a pass call where we had what we would call double edge protection. So we, were, we had, you know, we were supposed to get a chip on Miles Garrett and, uh, and we didn't get it, and it wasn't, it wasn't a mistake. What happened was their safety, uh, not to go into too many details, but their safety came down hard, came down very aggressive to support the run, and, uh, and we read it as a blitz, which if I was running back, I would have read the same thing. So the back came off of the chip um, to pick up a blitz that, that he should have done, and so it left, left the tackle one-on-one, -on -one, um, backed up. So we had a play that we really liked, and I got a little too aggressive with the call. Normally, normally, with that field position, uh, you know, eight out of ten times, I'm probably not making that call. But I just felt like if we if we got it right, it would be a big chunk and get us out of that hole. So that was on me. And I thought, you know, I mean, Philip obviously had, you know, the, the one pick six, but Philip did a ton of good stuff, um, in my opinion. I obviously got to watch the film, but he made some plays, he made some throws. Um, you know, we go down and we score the first drive. Then we put together another long drive and end up with a field goal. Uh, you know, I thought in that regard, I mean, kept us in it at the end. Um, you know, obviously, we'd like to have that one back. So um, thought he did a lot of good things. We'll see the film. You lose a game like this, it's, we all share in it. You know, every, everyone shares in it. Um, I'm a little bit, I hate to say it, encouraged that we can make some of the mistakes we make and we're still in a, and we're still in a game. And we're still in the game against a good football team on the road. So um, that's the way I, that's the way I'm viewing it. There's uh, plenty of things we can do better, and we will do better. Kevin Bowen, Frank, I, I guess looking at the mistakes Philip made week one and then today, is there any level of concern with him throwing outside the numbers? No, no. Philip can throw the ball anywhere on the field. He needs to throw it. Um, uh, yeah, I thought, like I said, we'll, we'll look at the tape and evaluate it. But I thought, like I said, I thought he made a ton of plays out there today. Um, I thought he made a ton of plays out there today. Joel Erickson. Uh, Frank, how did you feel like you guys did on Garrett? He had, the, he had the one sack, but it felt like he showed up on a lot of big plays in the game. Yeah, well, yeah, he showed up. I mean, he's a great player, but... Um, he had the one, and I mean, we can't say, well, he had one sack, and we, we did a good job on him. We we chipped him. We found he made some plays. He he applied some pressure, but he didn't he didn't, in my opinion. I mean, you guys may disagree, but um, obviously the sack was a huge play in the game. But it's not like when you see a defensive guy take over a game and have three sacks. And um, I I didn't feel it was that game. I thought. The Raven came in and did a good job. I thought our tight ends and backs did a fairly good job. And he's a great player. We knew he'd still get some pressure. Uh, I thought Philip hung in there well and and um, 
in some ways offensively, you know, it, it was okay. Uh, we just can't turn the ball over and, and we can't coach and play and spot a team. You can't spot a good team points. And, and that's essentially what we did. Bob Kravitz. Frank, uh, is it your offensive line playing to the standard that you want, particularly in the running game? I mean, I was a little disappointed in the second half. I felt like, you know, we, we got some run, we got some run, <clears throat> run game going there. The first half, we just, you know, we didn't have that many drives. I mean, they, they had a couple long drives. The Browns did, like we said, they were very efficient in the first half. And so they really, I don't know, I don't know how many plays we had in the first half, but it didn't seem like a ton. I think we only had three possessions maybe. Mm -hmm. um, and then in the second half, you know, we started running it a little bit. But the way the flow of the game was, I just you wanted to call more runs, but we just had to keep, you know, pressing pressing the ball down the field because of the situation of the game. So um, we'll go back and look at the run game closely. But my guess is that when we grade today's run game, it's it was a it was solid. We'll do two more. Zach Kiefer. Frank, you've touched on this, but I wanted to ask again. The offense just hasn't looked quite right for a couple of weeks. Are you getting what you need from the starting quarterback position? Yes. I mean, Phil's playing really good football. Um, yeah, that's the least of my worries. Um, that's the least of my worries. We played a good football team today, and they did a good job. We knew we'd have to score points. Um, you know, we knew we'd have to score some points, and, you know, they did a – they did a – you know, they put, they applied the pressure in the first half and, um, and our defense hung in and our defense played lights out in the second half. I mean, our defense played lights out in the second half to keep us in it and to, and to give us a chance. So hats off to how we played defensively in the second half. And then we just couldn't quite make enough plays on offense to stay in it. But um, Phillip is, uh, you know, Phillip's doing playing good football, um, you know, you're going to have mistakes when you get in a situation like that. I'm, I know he would want the interception back, but the, the sack, like I said, that's on me. And uh, you take that away and you get that one mistake. In my mind, that was that was the big factor. I mean, that mistake was not the big factor, the sack, the, the safety. But the, the one big mistake on Phillip was the interception. That was it. All right, we'll go one more, Jamilo. Hey Frank, sorry. Um, you were you mentioned the one interception, the pick six. What what did what did you see on the second interception? The one where he kind of stepped up in the pocket and, and threw it down the middle. Yeah, just trying, you know, I mean, trying to make a play, get pressure, um, you know, gets pressure, steps up, sees the end cut. Uh, obviously you want it back, but you know, when you're in that situation, that, that play's gonna come up. That play's gonna come up, obviously. You can't, you don't want to turn the ball over. Um but, you know, we, got, we, had, we still could have overcome it. That's the way I see it. We still could have overcome it. 